I bought a lot of stuff. What have I done? Hi, my name is Victoria and on this channel I make clothes and lingerie for myself and I share with you this process. I recently came back from Ukraine, I visited my family and every such trip I bring back to Germany uh, some fabrics, uh, some lingerie supplies, uh, something that I'm struggling to find here. This time I had a crazy haul, really. I bought so much stuff and in some way it makes me a little bit scared because of the amount, but in another way I take such a big pleasure just by looking at this. It took me one day to start to film because uh, every single time I sat at the table I just was hypnotized by the colors and I decided that if I will not use all of my uh, supplies I at least will have some color therapy. I opened almost everything uh, except one package. There should be some a textile for a hoodie sweatshirt and sweatpants and some elastics, some black elastics for lingerie. I will, I think I will open up this a little bit later. I knew that when I will come to Ukraine I will face a lockdown, so I had not so much time to purchase offline, uh, though I had a good luck to buy some uh, natural silk and some synthetic silk. Uh, everything else I was purchasing online and oh my god girls discounts prices in ukraine for laundry supplies not so high as in europe uh, they are rather cheap i would pay around uh, 15 cents more or less for one one meter of um, of elastic and on this website there was 40 percent discounts for all the goods almost all the goods uh, before new year i remember just colors and clicking 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 yeah so let's go i will show you every single item so i will start from the lingerie supplies and will go step by step to the dancer materials and in the end i will say you approximately how much i spent for all the goods as you can see, I bought tons of the elastics and the prices were so good that this time I decided to buy everything I wanted and uh, not to have any further problems with matching materials. And now I can make any crazy project I want. So there are different ways how you can make your own lingerie. It depends on the style and what you want to achieve. I have really a lot of different varieties of supplies so i can make any type of project almost any type of project um, and there there is some minimum uh, minimal kit that you will need to make your own lingerie but i will not talk about this very detailly because this is a theme for another video here you can see i bought a lot of different types of strap shoulder elastics it is never too much of them for me, because you can make so many different decorative elements with them. I bought different types of bra elastics. They are wider and denser than those used for panties. Well, you need to create enough support for your breasts. And here you can see some a bra elastic with some stripe of, um, of silicone. Uh, these are specially made for um, strapless bras. I honestly was expecting that this one will be without uh, silicone, but oh well, now I have it. This is another type of underbreast elastic. They are used for triangle bra type. And this is a pico elastic for a panties. Unfortunately, they had not so big choice of them in this online shop. Mostly you could, I could find fold over elastics like this. They had different uh, sizes of these elastics. This one, for example, is uh, two centimeters wide, so one centimeter when it folded. For panties, better to use uh, 15 12 millimeters wide. They usually are softer and more comfortable to wear. Uh, this one, this wider one, I wanted to use for some type of bra. Actually, I was so inspired by this um, design. 
and I will definitely make this as soon as I will find a matching textile. These are thinner and this one you can use for making thongs. It is very, very soft. As you can see, there are different types of underwire channeling. I was not working with, uh, with some of these types, so it will be an interesting experience. And this is something very new for me. This is a special elastic for a swimsuit. I'm planning to make my own swimsuit because, yeah, I'm struggling to find a matching one. Another very important thing is threads. I spent around 90 cents per each and they are very good quality, so I took as many matching as I could. The next thing I bought were bra closures. I was trying to buy as wide as possible, but there was not always a size choice. So in the end I have 36 colors and the price for one piece was between 10 and 20 cents. It was much harder for me to purchase power mesh and jersey through the internet because it was very hard to understand the softness, the density of the fabric just by looking at the photo and at the description. I even left two jersey fabrics in my parents' home because I do not like how they feel and I will definitely not work with them. These three power meshes are denser and more supportive than another three. This milk one I will definitely use uh, as a layer under the lace. The berry one actually, I like the color, but the texture, uh, the filling is so weird. It is very smooth and very soft on touch from one side, but I can say rather rough from another side. So I even do not know how to use that because I do not have, I do not have any matching lace to cover it over. So for now, probably I will not use that. This one has a wonderful wine color. Uh, it is very dense and very nice to the touch and can be used as one layer. These three meshes are thin, very elastic and very soft. I would need to use two layers of this mesh to achieve some support. The green one is absolutely my favorite. I even would not like to combine this with something. I have enough matching um, elastics and I would like to make some simple unicolor bra set, something like this. But with the pink mesh I would like to play a little bit and I will combine this with some coral or orange ribbons. And another very interesting idea is to combine this with a red mesh. Here is one example how you can combine different colors. For this blue mesh I have a bunch of different elastics and I remembered that I have some velvet fabric that is so good in the combination. I was not using this velvet because I was always missing some elastic. And this is a cool one. It is a ready laundry kit. So what do we have here? It is a ready kit uh, with what you can start to make your own laundry. You have all the details you need and you do not need to have any headache by searching some components. I find this a very good starting point. I was never using um, ready kits yet and it will be my first experience. So what do we have? Definitely we have threads. Then we have closure, iron hook, we have rings and sliders, then we have underwires, then some bonings, uh, side bonings, oh it's a cutie, I do not remember how do they call, and here we do have some lace, then we have a power mesh and I will use this mesh as a layer under the lace because lace by its own will not give me enough support. Then we have a small piece of, um, of a cotton jersey for a slip gusset. And here we have a stabilizing mesh. This is a strap elastic. Beautiful one. 
Then we have one under breast elastic. We have um, channeling, under wire channeling. And this is a fold over elastic. You can use this for bra and you can use this for sleeps. But on my taste, it's a little bit too wide for sleeps. I would, I would choose rather th um, smaller one. And luckily, I have thinner one. And for sleeps, I will use definitely this one. It will be much more comfortable. I really like combi the combination of colors. And I would like to make some basic bra for myself. And I guess I will film a detailed tutorial that you can make something similar. Okay, here is a kit number two. And here we have threads, iron hooks, um, jersey for gusset for our sleeps, uh, some uh, stabilizing mesh, bonings, some side bonings, and rings and sliders. This is not so interesting. So I have around two meters of uh, some elastic lace. I was expecting a little bit another color, more saturated, something like like this. But um, in the end, it looks rather good. It has some dusty shade in reality. And another positive uh, thing, that this lace appeared to be denser than I was expecting. It can give me some support. And about ribbons, about uh, elastics. Uh, here is one under breast pico elastic. Then we have channeling, we have fold over elastic for slips, and we have um, shoulder strap elastic. With the last one, I'm I'm not so satisfied. It does not look so well, actually. I would think that this is uh, maybe some kind of under breast elastic than a strap elastic. I think I will change. I will change it for something like this. And this one I bought not for myself, but for my friend. I promised her to make her lingerie. And look at this. So, wires, threads, some stabilizing mesh, rings and sliders, some jersey for gusset. Another boning, hook and eyes, and this is the main part. So, look at this. It is so beautiful. I like the quality of this power mesh. It is rather dense. It will be very cool in the combination. And I just... It's just awesome. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the beginning? Where is the beginning? Each of these lingerie kits costed me less than 10 euros, and I paid for all the previous goods, including these kits, 115 euros. I saved more than 40 euros on discounts, but it was one of the cheapest online stores in Ukraine, and unfortunately, they do not have delivery abroad. The next my purchase is natural and synthetic silk. I catched an opportunity to visit one big store before the lockdown and I'm glad I could make at least some choice because I was so overwhelmed with ideas in that stores. I have to thank my sister who was there at the time and was the brains of the operation when I was one continuous motion. And this is a synthetic silk. It is so soft, so comfortable to the skin and it has some percent of elastant, which is good if you want to make lingerie out of it. I just love how they look in the combination. I would like to make some girly lingerie set, something like this. And it would be also cool to make some kind of robe or some home clothes out of this. Unfortunately, I took only 30 centimeters of each. So for now, I just will test this textile. And here is my natural silk, and it has few percent of elastan too. I already was testing a blue one, 
I was trying to make a sleeping mask and I was uh, creating kind of a technology of no light sleeping mask. Uh, and actually I succeeded and I made this as a present for my friend. The idea of making lingerie from silk is amazing. Imagine the price of a ready-to-wear piece. Here are some ideas what you can make out of silk and some interesting color combinations. I bought black silk for some particular reason. I want to make um, matching high-waisted high panties uh, for this bralette. I started this bralette a few years ago. Actually, it was one of my first uh, projects, lingerie projects. Yeah, so for some reason I did not finish that. It was in my um, in my shelf for a long time, and now I think it's the uh, the right time to to make it done. So yeah. Few new bubbles. I bought some plastic underwires and some bonings. Very interesting purchase for me was some special type of scissors. I heard about them for the first time a um, few months ago and they are made for thin fabrics like silk or chiffon. The main peculiarity of the scissors is that they have almost not noticeable carvings all over the blade um, to prevent texture from sliding while cutting. In the moment of the cut it is cool, but when you try to shift the scissors forward it pulls the textile. And maybe I'm doing something wrong, I just need maybe more experience with this. And another my love is this pattern magazine. I buy them every time when I can find some interesting pattern, some interesting cut, or when they have a, a good explanation with illustrations. This is my first online purchase for jersey fabrics, and I'm so satisfied. It is so soft and it is it has right thickness, it has right blend, it is a cotton with a little bit of elastan. I continuously struggling here in Germany to fight right jersey because or it is some weird polyester viscose blend or it has some weird thickness that you cannot use for t-shirt or you cannot use for some um, sweatpants. So I was, this was a really great experience for me and I found my favorite shop in Ukraine, online shop. They even sent me some textile uh, samples. So when I was ordering the second time, I already was, um, I already knew what I will receive and what to expect. Uh, so my basic idea was to make some sport bra and I was thinking about different types of finishing the edges. One of them is to use um, jersey bias tape, um, as you can see on the screen. And the second one is to use my fold over elastic and to play with some contrast colors or for example to take a pink um, jersey and to use a uh, yellow fold over elastic. And I have one textile that I bought especially for a t-shirt and I do not know what I was thinking about. Uh, in the moment, it was a cool idea to make some neon t-shirt. I was inspired by um, Cos brand. They had very nice uh, neon t-shirt. And I don't know. I don't know. It was... I was so excited with the idea till the moment I received that. And I was just like, what have I done? It is so tricky to, to wear neon. So I even do not know if I will do something maybe just as a testing sample. Well, I don't know. Let me know about your ideas about neon colors. <laughs> By the way, the jersey was not so cheap. Um, the price is approximately between 9 and 11 euros per meter. So in general, I spent around 40 euros like this jersey, then um, jersey for hoodie and sweatpants, plus some elastics that um, costed around 30 cents per one meter. So finally I will open my last purchase. Oh my god, it's so cool. 
This is a textile for sleeve, for collar. It is a little bit denser and it has some ribs. I was actually never working with this textile, I'm so curious. Wow, it will be very warm. It is rather thick textile. I actually was expecting to have this a little bit darker. I wanted to have this like really dark graphite color. And I have my last elastics. Here's the white one and black. I really satisfied with the quality of this elastics. So that's all. I hope you did enjoy this video. And there are a lot of beautiful projects that waiting for us. So let's keep in touch. Bye.